Salam and welcome back to Super Zombie Player. We're gonna do the haunted hall. We're gonna meet Magic and Dispel. That's right. Also, my phone just buzzed and I apologize. I'm gonna move that to where it's not going to be picked up by the microphone. <laughs> oh, jeez. These levels give me the sads. <laughs> because... Okay, I just I just psyched myself out. That's that's what happened. That's all it is. We're gonna be good. We're gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. I'm totally gonna do this. And the fact that everything's really dark and I can't see shit isn't gonna be a problem, right? I'm gonna be great. I'm gonna finish the levels just fine. See, we're already doing better. That was just a fluke. It was just a fluke. Uh, uh, an unfortunate circumstance that occurred, and now it's all in the past, and we're moving on with our lives now, <laughs> and we're gonna finish this level just fine in DND. Everything's on fire and dark, and I can't see anything. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. We're cool. That was a hole. That was a hole. Could you see that? Could you tell any difference between the hole and the ground? Because I could not. I literally could not see... I can't see. I actually genuinely can't see the ground. <laughs> this is a problem. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna jump. I'm just gonna jump until we figure it out. There's like a slight glimmer of maybe an edge of a platform I think I'm supposed to be shooting for, but there's fire and also a pumpkin, so I don't actually know where I'm supposed to be. It's cool. We're gonna do it. We're gonna... <laughs> I can't see anything. I literally can't see the floor. Okay. 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 Wait for the fire. Come on! <laughs> I think I'm over... I'm over estimating how large the gap is. I think that's the problem. Oh, it's not... It's a wall and then a gap? Guys, am I just blind? Am I just blind? Or is it really... Seriously, you can't see anything. Well, we're past it now, and I better get to a damn checkpoint so I don't have to deal with that again. Jesus. It's dark. Can I step on those pumpkins? I don't actually know. I don't want to chance it. I've died a lot. <laughs> Wait for it. I don't want to get spooped. I don't want to get spooped by ghouls! Spoopy ghouls! Oops, I messed up that jump. It's fine. Why is a wolf from Red, Little Red Riding Hood in Magic of the Spell's haunted house? Also, my dog is, I think, trying to break out of the apartment. <laughs> Whoopsies! I hit a checkpoint, right? I did. Good. Okay, we're past that point at least. Screw you, Grandma Dog Wolf Dog Canine. They're both canines. It works. Whoops! Saved myself. A a hey a doing better, we're doing better. Also, I figured out what the orange juice is for. Except I'm probably what? I don't care about your outfits. Is that what that was for? All these collectibles are just for alt costumes? Who gives a shit? <laughs> oh, that was a bottomless pit. Oh, we're all the way back here now. This is good. This is great! <laughs> it's a good thing I have collected so many 1-ups up until this point, because it's- this is about where it gets real. As real as this game's gonna get, anyway. <laughs> but it's fine! Oh, for fucking <laughs> freedom! Resin, resin, resin! Eh. I'm gonna step on their heads specifically because I'm angry. I'm- I'm- I'm taking out my aggression in a healthy way. And that healthy way is by stepping on... ...wolves who ate grandmas. Are they bursting out of paintings? Is that- is that what that is? That like weird pulsing that happens before they show up? Are they bursting out of paintings? <laughs> what the hell?! God damn it. Who recorded his death sounds and like his angry don- Nulled. Sounds silly me for thinking a piano might be, like, on the ground and not floating in the air. That was a truly ridiculous assumption on my part. 
You know, like, how could I think such a thing? That a piano might perchance be on a floor of some kind. What is the point of the piano's legs then, huh? Huh? What's the point? If it's just floating anyway, why does it need legs? How do you even play it? Do you need to be able to fly to play a floating piano? Because it didn't have a floating bench next to it or anything. So, just tough tinkies? Oh good, it's over. That's an even bigger damn piano. Like, wow. Check that out. G. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> I did it! I win! <laughs> I did the thing! Ah, no, not again. Yes, unfortunately, I would like to save file. As much as I hate it because it takes so long. 42, 24, but not for longer. Much longer. Much longer. Boy, oh boy. B boy, boy, boy. Ugh. Here we go. Are they? Are they amazing? Tap 10. Down Y, B, Y, B. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it in this next level. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the thing. Do it. What was this one called? Spooky Alley or some shit? I don't know. Whee! Aren't these uh, blueprints supposed to change with the level? This is just right back to the first one, isn't it? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> hubris. It was the hubris that did me in. Um, or perhaps the ad accurate added ad ad the expression I should have used was something about never learning from history and doomed to repeat it and shit. I don't know. Whatever. Presents, presents. Why are you giving me gears? When would I ever want gears as a present? I am a duck. What am I gonna do with gears? Literally, who wants gears as presents? Like, even whatever, an engineer or some shit who might actually need them, would they want them as gifts? I mean, I guess these are like jewelry or like cufflinks or some shit because they're gold. But then like the ones that are of a higher value are made of bronze? Or at least they're bronze colored. I assume they're made of bronze. I don't know, maybe the value of precious metals in this universe is a little bit wonky compared to that of our own. You know, it could happen. We're in some kind of fantasy world where ducks, like, are sentient and not. They are. What's. Is that the right word? I don't know. Where ducks, like, speak and build things and do magic and stuff. So. You know, it could happen. Maybe in their world, they assigned more value to bronze than to gold just because of whatever economic reason that may have occurred in this universe. You know, we don't we don't know. We don't know their life. Shit! <laughs> God damn it. Why? It's fine. Whatever. That's what checkpoints are for. Also fire. But it's cool. Give me that OJ. Ooh! I don't even care about these costumes. I'm not even gonna bother anymore. Like, whatever. I don't give a shit about alt costumes, for real. I do not. Wee! Wee! Oh! Balls. Oh, balls. Okay, we're fine. <sighs> I wanna know more about the economic state of Duckburg. Because honestly, like... Scrooge McDuck is gotta be some kind of anomaly, right? Has gotta be some kind of anomaly, right? Because he literally can swim through his money. Also, what is their money made of? Like, it looks like gold coins, but he can swim through it. Like, it's gotta be soft enough or flexible enough. Why did I just fall and die? It wouldn't let me jump. Anyway, so their money, despite the fact that it looks like gold coins, has got to be soft and flexible enough to be able to swim through it, because you can't really swim through a vault full of gold, even though gold is pretty flexible as metals go. You could not do that. I think Mythbusters actually did an episode about this. 
that like you can't swim through a vault of gold. Um, but he can do that. So I don't know what metal or even is it metal would the money be made of? Or maybe like it's all a ruse and he's not actually wealthy. Like he just has fake coins, just a whole lot of them that he just uses to give the appearance of wealth. Maybe, maybe like Scrooge has a, some kind of complex or something. And he like feels the need to compensate for some inadequacy, for some perceived inadequacy. <laughs> Damn it. I'm <laughs> distracting myself so much. Um, yeah, maybe Scrooge McDuck isn't actually rich. And this is just a ruse. You know, you ever thought about that? Hey, Disney, please don't sue me. <laughs> uh, that would certainly be the final nail in the coffin, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I made a funny. <laughs> Whee! I think we're almost done. Oh my god, so much fire. Magicka. Magicka Dispel. Girlfriend. <laughs> This is a fire hazard. This is dangerous AF. Like, who let you build this place? Honestly, this is not up to code. Are there no fire marshals in Duckburg? Is that not a thing you guys have? That's really something you should look into because honestly, this is a death trap. Like, I know that was the point, but there is no way this building is up to code. Like, you can make a death trap that's up to code, I'm sure. But if your whole building is a death trap, fucking hell. <laughs> I don't imagine they allow you to build full on death traps that don't have any like safe zones. Jesus Christ. Unless there's little areas where like you can't get to it because there's an invisible wall blocking access, those might be the safe zones. You know, like those, uh, those special emergency exits on theme park rides where like you can kind of pop out and remove yourself like this, like right here. Maybe this is a safe zone. Like you can kind of remove yourself from the experience if something has happened and you can't continue. So maybe that's what, maybe that it's like that. Maybe like this is just a big old theme park attraction type of deal. Maybe that, maybe that's what's going on. So maybe that, maybe, maybe it is up to code. Just like, you know, barely. Whee! That was the end of the level and I died right at the end of the level. It's okay. We're okay. <laughs> We're fine. It's fine. We're totally fine. We're good. Eerie alley. Scary, eerie, whatever. Same, same, same diff. I tapped the mic, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my transgressions. Uh, oh, God damn it! Maybe I should just make my high score name be AAA. Have you ever heard of this Japanese pop group called AAA, AAA, whatever? Attack All Around is what it stands for. They are so cute and amazing. There's like seven of them or some shit. It's like insane. But like, it's a mixed group, which is kind of uncommon. Usually it's all girls or all boys. But this is a mixed group, and like, they do dancing and they sing and they have a bunch of albums and they're super cute. They came to Otakon once, and I like got their autograph and shit, and then I sold the albums that I got signed because I was broke, and it was very sad. Okay, next time on Super Zombie Flare, this ghostly path situation. Peace, love, and geekdom. Goodbye! <laughs>